I haven't been out on my boat for uh, two months. I've uh, made my cushions and, and done a little bit of work here and there on the boat. And I'm heading out down the Brisbane River. You can see the uh, Gateway Bridge there. It's about uh, 15 minutes off over here. is the Brisbane night markets. You know, why I'm coming out at night is uh, I've got the tide with me. It turned at seven, it's now nine o'clock and we're just going under the Gateway Bridge. Well, we're going by our first ship. In Fisherman's Island now where uh, the container wharf is. There's a large grain silo down here and I think there's a ship about to come out. Yeah, this big ship here is just about to go. There's two tugs alongside at the moment on each end. Two large container ships and a small ship on the end here, which uh, probably uh, goes over to Vanuatu and over to the uh, islands in the Pacific. This is a ship coming in here. There's a tug and he's just turning round. I'm going to follow him in. There's a tug, on to red. Smartly carry on with this. Uh, usually stay near the stern. Well, I think that's the excitement for tonight. I'm just heading down the uh, Brisbane Channel down the red side. When I get past about four of these, I can uh, then turn and head towards the sand hills, which will be returning to my starboard. Last night I arrived at the sand hills at uh, one o'clock in the morning. Uh, I woke up at uh, seven, I felt pretty shattered actually. So, had a cup of tea, took my pills and had a bit of breakfast. Went back to bed for another half an hour. High tide was at 7.30, so it's an hour and a half. I'd like to go into Blue Hole today, which I can just pump my keel up a little bit uh, at high tide and uh, safely get in there and get out of this slop. At the moment, I've just got pulled the anchor up and I'm just uh, going downwind with the uh, wind. But uh, there's the sand hills over there behind coming on round there's Crab Island and then there's the entrance there's a green and a red and I'm going to go through those and follow the uh, channel in and I'm going to anchor behind Crab Island for the for the day because it's a bit sloppy out here and uh, when it's uh, low tide at lunchtime I'm going to go and uh, scrub me boat I'm all right. I've run myself aground now so I can uh, scrub the uh, side. What I use is a uh, a Bunnings. I just use a paint scraper that knocks off the barnacles and weed and I polish the hull from one of these things from Bunnings. You know these last probably two hull scrubs and then they're worn out but they're very good. Anyway I've got to get in now I've been waiting all day it's now one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just going to hop over the side and uh, I think that it's about low tide now so I should be able to pull it up onto a, the bank in front as the tide comes up when I need to get underneath. That's the plan anyway. Yeah, this is my uh, dive reel here when I get to the underside. Got a little compressor there makes uh, 100 and, 
uh, 60 litres a minute, which is quite enough. And then I've got my weights and me <coughs> and me thing uh, in, in the thing with my scrubbing brushes and various other things. You do need to wear a pair of gloves for this job though, otherwise your uh, you'll get uh, hands will get cut. After leaving uh, after leaving the Brisbane River on uh, Sunday night, uh, it's now uh, Friday. I've spent quite a bit of time and. Uh, Cleaned the bottom of the boat off over at the sand hills. It's been blowing pretty hard from the north, so we came uh, down the peel and uh, had a day in behind Peel. Just had a day in behind uh, Kudji Mudlow last night, a bit rolly. Uh, winds from the kind of northeast. There's a swell kind of permutate around the uh, headland and all the way down in the bay. So I'm heading on down the Gold Coast now. Uh, I've got to pick my wife up probably on Monday. I think it's going to be northerly still then, and it's kind of quite humid, and she won't like it on the boat till then. And, you know, at the moment, it's very smoke hazy, so it's, it's kind of very similar to uh, England, you know, it's, uh, the water's grey, really grey. Not very inspiring for uh, taking uh, video. But anyway, I just start doing a little bit now, occasionally on the way down. Got to put a shirt on in a minute because my uh, my body's not been, ever been exposed to the sun for a long time. But it's quite cloudy at the moment, so I, I thought I'd give it a, an hour, half an hour, and then I'll put a shirt on. Maybe I'll regret it. Uh, might be sunburned by then, but we'll see. Kudja and basically in the centre of the screen there is where I anchored. I had a walk round the island this morning and some exercise and uh, I had a look to see if uh, Anatoly was there in his cat trimarang, but he wasn't. So uh, I don't know where he is. I tried ringing him, but his uh, phone doesn't uh, ring out, so... I'm not sure what's happened to him. That there is Victoria Point. Uh, on the back beach there is where I got my rubber dinghy stolen. Left it there for four hours and came back from Aldi and it was gone. I think somebody must have uh, put it in the back of their ute or in the back of their camper van for going round Australia with. Uh, never seen again. Luckily I hadn't got the outboard on it. I've never been through this way, but uh, I've seen the uh, ferries go through here a few times, so it, it must be fairly deep. So I'm just going to look at the uh, echo sounder and make my way through here in a minute. Obviously, looking at the uh, my sea map, I suppose it is, and try and choose the uh, the lighter blue. Heading along at about five knots, it's blowing about uh, 15 knots uh, from the uh, north northeast, I suppose, and uh, the Kangara Channel now. Just have to go to Windward and uh, motor through here, and then I'll uh, keep sailing. Keep seeing light, lightning in the centre of the screen there, so it must be uh, following Stradbroke round, I think. The next green channel markers are down there, and uh, this is the uh, nearest red, so I'm going to keep to the uh, red side of the channel down here, and then if I uh, uh, need to anchor, I'll just round up and uh, drop the drop the anchor and. Uh, if there's any motorboats coming straight down behind me, they should miss me. I should be out just out the channel. Up in, up in front. Don't know if you can see in the camera, but I think it's raining about uh, uh, about two miles away. Up in front. Yeah, the rain's getting closer now. We've uh, lost the wind. 
So I think I'm going to take the jib down here and uh, get ready for the fingers. You can see the, the wind just coming on the water. It's going to get worse in a minute. Anyway, managed to survive that pretty well. Oh, that's it. Get downstairs. Out of the rain. Just protected my uh, autopilot a bit with a bucket and a stadium seat there. Here's where we are. Just uh, off the. Oh, I didn't tie the jib down, and I didn't tie the dinghy down. Oh, I'm not going to head out, and I'll look this way.
Oh, well, this is what a Queensland storm's like. Oh, dear. Well, I've had a bit of a shower outside there. Wind's starting to die down now. We'll be back, back sailing in a minute, I think. Anyway, just got to dry myself off now. Just that thunderstorm that went over, you can see it there, and uh, this one that's that Kumara, it's going to basically impact on us as well. So. I'm going to go up on deck now, it's kind of all cleared up now, the first thunderstorm, kind of in pretty good uh, shape outside, so I'm going to just go out and clear up. Yeah, looking at the solar panels after all that wind, I just had one of the uh, stays drop out, that, that was all, so yeah, they're pretty good these things, you know, they hang in there. Well, I got the dinghy away, and there's another thunderstorm coming uh, basically I've just seen lightning over there and it's kind of coming straight for me at the moment so I'm going to just stay here a little longer and work out I have my cup of tea and read a book for half an hour and see what uh, this thing brings before I sail on at 5.15 we resumed our journey down towards the Gold Coast yeah the second thunderstorm's behind me there uh, wasn't much uh, in it actually, it never actually got to us, we just got a bit of rain, a bit of wind. But uh, I'm pleased I just stayed bel below and uh, read my book. Now, now we have blue skies and it's the first time I've actually seen a blue sky since I set off. We've had uh, smoke haze. So it's always been very grey. That's where we are at the moment, in the, the boat. We're going to go up here as far as the cursor. And I think that's Epron Island. And it's 14 uh, nautical miles. Parks and it passing a green mark. And there's just a little bit of tide against me. Here's a nice mobo going by us. Caribbean 40. It's now seven o'clock and I've just started the engine and I'm going to anchor probably a couple of hundred just in the center of the screen over there. This is uh, you know one of the milestones on the way to the uh, Gold Coast. I'm just going under the power lines. This is one of the better days, best day we've had so far. And no air pollution at the moment and uh, yeah good day we'll be down at uh, we've got the tide under us at the moment going out so got about I think about three hours left of three or four hours of tide going out so I shall whistle down to uh, the pin and then I'll have the tide against me then I'll have to think what I'm gonna do North Stradbroke and South Stradbroke there I'm going to go quite close hauled and uh, I haven't got the jib set for uh, close hauled, it's on the reaching. Uh, I have to raise it up for reaching because I don't move the uh, where the sheet position is. But uh, anyway, we'll, we're making it slowly getting up, getting out there. I've got to go around a yellow buoy and then I should be at a fair away then. A bit windy out here, not many boats so I'll uh, head down towards Tipplers. There's a beautiful little boat going by. Well, I've made it down onto the Gold Coast. There's Sovereign Island over there. You might be able to see the uh, city skyscrapers of the Gold Coast. Some replica must be used in the films. Heading around Sovereign Island and uh, just spotted this new house being built. 
Well, what do you think of that? Coming down here to Paradise Point. Uh, just gone through a six knot zone, so you, you won't get many jet skis through here because uh, they'll stay out of here. So I think I'll uh, anchor in that uh, space just in front of me there. Looks quite nice. I'm on holiday at Christmas and I'm at Paradise Point with my wife. Uh, we're anchored uh, between two bridges. I'm standing on one. Over in the centre of the screen over there is uh, Sovereign Island. If you come on round, this is Epron Island. Uh, here I am on the bridge. It's uh, a very good spot to come in your trailer sailor to here. There's a uh, jetty in the center of the screen to tie your boat up on. Or you can just uh, pull it up on the, anchor it on the beach. Uh, and it's a lovely sandy beach all the way along and uh, there's great parking there as well for your car and it's unlimited so you could uh, just park there and uh, sail off and go to Curran Cove for the day or whatever. And for the kids, there's a beautiful Beautiful swimming, salt water swimming pool here. And great toilet facilities, showers, playground for the kids. I'm out from the boat to the uh, shore here. My wife just getting changed in the car. And we're gonna head down the uh, footpath here to a uh, cafe where we get nice scrambled eggs. Hi, today's uh, December the 22nd, which is my birthday. All Shoe Bay, Peel Island. Quite a lot of people have come out just before Christmas. It's a lovely day. I've been out for two weeks and uh, been down the Gold Coast and making my way back to uh, Brisbane up to the my mooring on the Brisbane River. It's now uh, half past nine. And the wind is from the north northeast, and they reckon it's going to go around to the east, which will be a good wind for me to go home. But at, uh, at lunchtime, so I'm going to head off now and punch into the wind and hope that I uh, the wind changes, so I get a uh, good run home.
here's the main it's pretty flat but there's not much wind so you need a, f a flat sail when there's not much wind and then you uh, it doesn't break away from the back that's what I've been told anyway in my youth and uh, the jib's pretty flat as well and we're not going very well I'm gonna steer the boat in a minute see if I can get it going well two hours on I'm just coming up towards the uh, Brisbane River over there you can see the container terminal in the center of the screen there's uh, city of Brisbane but as you can see at the moment it's kind of very hazy and we've got a lot of smoke haze which has blown up from northern New South Wales here we are oh, you can see my little boat there and we're coming in towards the docks and it's now uh, five to one so I'm feeling a bit hungry so I'm gonna have a having a bit of a salmon for lunch before I start going up the Brisbane River well we've had a great run in we've come all the way down the uh, coming up the river at about five knots well I made it back to Memoring and it's now uh, 4.30 so I started off at 10 so six and a half hours to get back to my mooring. Uh, just had a beer, had a sit down, and now I've got to pack my boat away, ready to uh, for my wife to pick me up at uh, six o'clock. I'm gonna have a Christmas with my family, then I'll probably try and persuade my wife to come out on the boat if the uh, if we're not in heat wave conditions. So I wish everybody a happy Christmas and a happy new year from Balimba, Queensland.